Hi, this is Phil and Trish from SkiTalk.com, and we're going to be talking about the 2024 Faction Dancer 2X. If you've been following us, you also see that we've got the video up for the regular Dancer 2, but now we're going to be focusing on the women's version, which is the 2X. Now, Trish, you've had some time to spend on this ski in a multitude of conditions. What's your interpretations of the ski? Well, first of all, this has been a great snow year, so it offered up a lot more soft snow conditions than firm conditions until this spring. Mm -hmm. So my first experience on it was at, shortly after a storm, and we had a lot of stashes in the trees and moguls and shoots at, at uh, Mount Rose and a variety of places. So I, I was able to ski it in some really nice fresh powder and also on groomers and in the chop. But initially, um, I, I I didn't really have a preconceived idea, which is kind of nice going into a ski mm -hmm. brand, right? And I was really impressed at what, how well it handled those fresh leftover stashes of powder, as well as how it handled coming back out into the groomers where it had been chopped up and a, a lot of stuff was skied out. Um, but more than anything, I really enjoyed how it skied in the moguls. Yeah. It really handled the moguls well. I loved how the tail released. I really enjoyed the nimbleness of it. The ski has two thin sheets of metal with a sustainably sourced poplar wood core. Sustainability is the message after all. And um, it, it, with that metal, it's not stiffer, but it's calmer, it's quieter on the snow, and it just makes it more confidence inspiring. Now, this is, the two is part of a dancer collection. Uh, we've got the dancer one, one X, two, two X, three, three X, and also a dancer four. Ranges of widths are anywhere from 86 up to 116. But at 96 here, this is a ski that a lot of skiers look to, um, to be their one ski quiver. And we got dimensions on this one mm -hmm. here at 127. 96 117 with that 10 millimeters of taper really allows that ski to follow through a turn really nicely and that's on both of these skis here again you can buy the ski based on graphics that you want even though we've got more size ranges here yeah so we, on the women's side of the wall it is a 155 163 171 and a 177 mm -hmm. on the men's side it starts at a 163 and goes up to a 186 probably six, yeah and so because they're same construction no matter how small you are how big you are there's going to be something there for you. Just pick your graphic and run with it. Yeah, that's what I like with getting down to these small sizes. We have a lot of s smaller guys yeah. that that are looking for performance in a ski, and there's really no there, there's no risk getting in these small skis. Sure. We've got a multitude of styles and, and graphics that we get. And speaking of graphics, I do like the asymmetric graphic design where we've got the fade coming in on both of these skis, uh, the darker colors, the lighter colors, kind of reminiscent of the old Sarner collection back from the mid 70s, a style that I thought worked really well. And what I also like that faction has done, they took the extra step to bring some of this over to the bases. So where most manufacturers will shortcut here and just have a black base or whatever, they also went asymmetric on the on the base graphics with the inlay here to match the top skins, a step that a lot of manufacturers don't take. So that was an extra step that Faction did, did that I thought was really well, and it works really good with, with these skis here. So now as far as on the finesse power scale, where do you ski, see this ski line? I, you know, and I've... You know, I said before I didn't have a preconceived idea, but when I first got the ski, looking at it, I thought, boy, this is going to be a finesse ski, just the shape of it mm -hmm. and the tip. But when I skied it, it skied more on a scale of 1 to 10 for finesse to power. It was more like a 7 to 8, so it was a little bit in that mid to mid power range, mid to high power range. Mm -hmm. and. I felt like it held up and, and you know we were talking about the soft snow conditions but this spring like a week ago we were skiing on some refrozen spring snow and it was very firm and this handled it really well and it, that that metal just gave it a calmness and a confidence that was really nice and then when it warmed back up and we got into the spring slush and sludge it still just handled well.
So this really is a good one ski quiver. Yeah, no matter, so. you don't know the conditions going out. Right. You've got a ski here that's going to pretty much handle everything that you throw at Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you know the other thing that is kind of fun, and and we don't get into the kids skis too much, but mm -hmm. one of the things that I noticed when I was on their website taking a look at some of the information was that they have a junior ski. They call it the Dancer 2 Youth, and it's at 9,200 foot, which is a little bit wide for a Grom, but it's it's a nice powder ski. So if you're a family that your kid goes out and skis a lot and you've got a lot of experience with powder and your kid needs something just a little bit wider at 92 underfoot, um, it's it's a really cool ski and then the kid can be like mom or dad, you know? Yeah. And uh, another thing I wanted to mention is this is a, a company from Australia, or uh, sorry, Austria. And um, you know, the Austrians just, they know how to build a ski. Yeah. Now they did a really good job with this ski. Mm. It's a fun ski because in the end, skiing, skiing is, is fun. fun. To read the full review of this ski, please go to SkiTalk.com and click on the reviews tab. Please also hit the like button and subscribe to see future ski reviews along with other ski related content. And also please add any thoughts to the comments section below. And of course, follow SkiTalk.com on all social media channels. No clams were shocked during the course of this video.